Okay, so if you remember my cat story with this, with the uh, vent in my house, ugh, you're gonna love this. There's only one way to get up in this roof, and that is to actually take down this panel, which, to be quite honest with you, it's not really that big of a deal. At least it never used to be, but for some reason, it seems to have grown into a big deal. I'm going to have to pry off that piece of trim there, which, again, not really any big deal. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to put it all back up if it gets broken, which I'm pretty sure it's going to get broken because I can see a split down the other end already. So, uh, I have... I have uh, installed new locks on my house because of an intrusion in here. So I had to, now that I live in the country, I actually have to have locks in the house because, you know, certain people come from certain areas of the country uh, or country or another state, which is pretty local to this state, and they just don't know how to keep their sh them, them, themselves to themselves and they don't know how to stay out of my house. So, I've had to lock my house up. Now you need a code to get in. Okay. Now that I'm up here, I just got done manhandling that piece of plywood off that holds the insulation up in here. I don't know how the effing cat did this. It came down from up there, obviously, because there's cat shit here. So what I'm gonna do, and it kind of sucks, but I'm going to have to get this. I'm going to take this uh, insulation off of here real easy. And because this is the only access that I have into this room or this so-called room. Oh, it fell down. I can feel the heat in there, too. Um, yeah, it's totally black in there. I'm going to have to go get a flashlight. All right, I'm going to climb down, go get a flashlight, and I'll show you what kind of craziness I got up in there. Probably gonna have to get a stapling gun and restaple some shit up there once I get in there. Okay, up, up, and away I go. I have some stuff on my porch here that needs to be cleaned off. Ah, I get up in here, and that's where the pipe comes through the wall. See that really nice six inch uh, vent that I have for the, uh, for the exhaust over the hood of my range. Now I'm gonna climb in here. I do have a flashlight, as you can see, I got some light here. I need the best one. I thought I had a, a better one than that. But, oh, God, I don't want to do this too many times in my life. Anyway, as you can see, I, well, I can see some of the uh, some of the uh, insulation has come down. And if you see back there, oh, I don't know if you see back there, well, I'm going to climb in there. Why not? What's it going to hurt, right? This is just going to have to be taken care of because if I don't... <laughs> Make a really nice hidey hole room up in here. Uh, what is this? Looks like a block of tar or something. Oh, anyway. Uh, I'm going to have to really get in there and do some serious crawling around. So let me get in there. I have used uh, vent pipe here just to... Uh, so that it's a straight run and I don't have all this this tin stuff because that that would create a whistle if I didn't so let me get in there and move some of that stuff around and show you what I'm up to. okay see what I'm dealing with it's just a piece of pipe six inch pipe and when that worthless piece of shit cat yeah that worthless piece of shit cat got in here I guess it knocked down all this insulation which is causing me a problem so I'm gonna have to get in here with my with my uh, yeah my stapling gun and staple this shit back up in here because that fucking cat just really really destroyed some stuff. What it did was it crawled. I can see where it crawled down. It crawled down from the insulation from these rafters from way up above. Came down here and caused all this this chaos. So. Then, when the individuals that I am not naming, <coughs> which know who they are, decided that they were going to get the cat out of the ceiling, what did they do? They totally stretched out my pipe. And then, and then as if I wouldn't notice, which this would cause a big ass mess too, because the range pulls all the, the range pulls the grease from down below. 
okay? I say grease, but it's not grease. All the air, the exhaust from off of my range, up through this pipe, out this pipe, out the front of the house, way to hell down there, so that I don't have smoke and stuff and grease splatter going up through these pipes. Well, when, <laughs> when they did that, they took that off of there, then they shoved this back up in here just so that I, the unsuspecting guy that has to repair this bullshit, wouldn't see it. And, of course, I got a lot of heat coming up through there, so that's got to be fixed. Oh, man. I got to go get, now I got to go get this pipe. So, I'm off to Home Depot and get some pipe, and I'm going to get some of this, get some of that aluminum tape to, duct tape to, or duct, uh, aluminum duct tape to fix this thing with, so. Okay, so I have choked on all the insulation. I actually... Oh, that stuff is awful, but I put new insulation in the top here to seal that all off so that I retain heat and obviously cold air when I'm cooling my house. Uh, range hood, as you can see, there's a nice brand new pipe in there, and I can turn this on. And you can hear it run. It has, I think, three speeds. High, low, and who needs them? man as the lady folks say and you can hear it as it flo as the airflow shuts down there's a little check valve in there that stops the air from continuing on up the on up the uh, pipe so anyway so that job is done uh, at least the repair of that thing is done the uh, it does it goes up and out I think I showed you earlier there's a little flipper out there but uh, this is the range covers that go up. They're 39 inches. They're actually 36 inches, um, but they're 39 inches. I should be able to get another one of those pieces to put on there and then it will telescope scope all the way to the top, but I'm unable to find them online. So, and all they do is they fit inside of one another. And this here, I'm going to show you real quick as I do this. Um, it just fits in here. Like so. And of course this one's dirty. It has to be, you know, cleaned up. And it fastens to the wall on the back side. It's really pretty simple to do. Um, you just there's holes over there and you run a screw into it into the wall and it'll work. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna put this one up there, up there, and I'm gonna measure down, which is about 15 inches from the top, and I'm just gonna box it out with wood. And uh, kind of thinking I'm going to use like a puzzle piece. I'm going to box it with uh, two by fours. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to cut little strips on little angles. So it kind of looks like this. And I think I'm actually going to use some walnut in there too, just because I have it. And I'll just make a crazy little design up there as it comes down from the top and marries into the, uh, into the stainless steel. And that'll hide the, the pipe and it'll hide the wire. Up top I actually have a receptacle or an outlet up there where that plugs into. And uh, I remember doing it. And anyway, so that thing is just plugged in. Now the lights that are in here, they're little halogen lights. And I'll pull them out. This, they're bad. And they look like this. They look like oversized Christmas lights. And... Uh, I'm having a hard time procuring those, so I'm going to have to figure that out when I get around to it. But anyway, uh, that's it for that thing for right now until I get, I don't want that thing. These things have been rattling around in my basement, but uh, I just want to put that together like that all the way up, have it together and ready to, uh, you know, so it looks nice. When you walk in the door, that's the, I mean, you walk in the door and that's the first thing you see and it's like, oh. Well, that looks like shit. So, I'm going to make it so it does not look like shit. I'm going to fix it up nice. Oh, here's the holes. You just drill a, you don't even drill holes. You just send a couple screws in there. Uh, this actually slides in. So, in the bottom side, if I fasten that there up against the wall and then slide the top side in, down in, then I just put a screw here and a screw here within these two holes, and it should be good. And then I'm going to build that little box all the way around it, all the way up. So, anyway, stay tuned. More house repair on the mend. Oh, and for you guys that think that I quit farming, I quit crop farming. I still have all the crop 
farming equipment. I just, you know, uh, with the deer pressure that I have and everything else, I think it's just better to set that aside for a few years and then uh, come back into it when things settle down deer-wise and other thing-wise. But, yeah, thanks for watching.